So this is my first official tutorial for Adobe Premiere. And I picked this particular subject because just a couple days ago I had a colleague ask me, how do you create a freeze frame in Premiere? How do you just hold on a piece of video for a few seconds? Well, I have worked with Premiere a lot. I really like the program, but that was one thing I never was able to figure out. I just when playing around with the options, I just never really came across it. So usually what I would do is I would find the uh, place I wanted to freeze frame on and then I would go to the export frame option, save the image, bring it into the bin here and then place that image then on the timeline right after the clip, you know, where I wanted to freeze it. And uh, well, that works well enough, but it's a little bit clunky. So I did a little bit of research because I was like, well, there has to be a way. And sure enough, there is a way and it's really simple. And <laughs> I'm kind of uh, embarrassed that I missed it all of this time. So in order to do this, we'll first need to locate a place where we want to freeze frame. And I'm using a really old uh, project here just as an example. And I'm not really sure why we would ever want to freeze frame on anything like this. Maybe when he jumps in the air, we can do a freeze frame for dramatic effect. But um, once we find the place we want to freeze frame, what I will do here is take the razor blade tool and that's just right up here. And you can either click that or use C on your keyboard to select it. And we will just click once to cut the clip. Now I will page forward one frame and then cut again. So it uh, looks just like this when I zoom in. Just basically one frame of footage. So now what I can do is take the selection tool or you can select V on your keyboard and we will right click on that clip we just created and choose frame hold. Now again, <laughs> really simple. I'm surprised I missed it all this time. But the options here allow you to, of course, hold the frame or you can hold with the filters if you have any filters going on and you can choose the deinterlace if you have lines running through your video when you freeze frame it, depending on how you, of course, um, produced your videos. And you can choose to do the in point, which is the beginning here of this clip, or you can choose the out point and so on. So once you have your options, you can click OK and now it is set. The last thing we need to do, of course, is we need to extend the clip out because as of right now, it's just basically one frame. So I'm just gonna move this over. I know I'm kind of breaking my timeline right now by doing this, but we're just doing this for an example. And then we can extend the clip forward like so. So now it kind of looks like this. He's running, it freezes, and then it keeps going. Just like that. So, and uh, that's basically all there is to it. Again, it's pretty simple. You can use this for many different things. And again, in this case, it's probably not needed for this particular clip, but uh, it works for the example. So anyway, if you would like more tutorials, you can visit IncredibleTutorials.com. I offer free tutorials on Flash, Anime Studio, now Premiere, and WordPress. If you're looking for more extensive courses on animation and such, you can check out IncrediblePhiles.com. And finally, if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one tutoring with Flash, Animation, or even Premiere, you can check out IncrediblePhiles.com and we can set up a tutoring session for you. Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you next time.